My mission with The Mortgage Report is simple, to save you money. I'm here to provide weekly insight into the market so you can make the best buying decision. I want you to know where interest rates are headed, and I promise to let you know my lock or float position. The Mortgage Report starts now. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Bob Mortgage, and this is the 69th episode of The Mortgage Report. That's right, I've been delivering these mortgage reports for 69 weeks. Now the point of the mortgage report is to be able to give you guys some insight into what's happening with the bond market. You know, what are we locking or should we float the interest rate when you get that contract on a home? Now this is a weekly report and I'm telling you kind of what I'm, at, what I'm doing and advising my clients on for that upcoming week. Now what I would advise you to do, because I do this on Instagram through stories, is I actually tell you through the story side what's happening on a daily basis if my float or lock recommendation for the week is changing. Okay, so go to instagram.com slash bobmortgage and follow me there because you'll get some daily insight that might help you save some money. Okay, so if we take a look at a couple of things right now, we, we had a really good day today in the, in the, in the uh, bond market and it was just because really stocks did rally and mostly because of earnings from from um, from retails uh, walmart had some really good numbers out this morning but then the stock market really picked it pick up because of news that came in wednesday night uh, uh, basically that the u.s and china were really in some good talks about you know kind of getting back together on the on this trade uh, concern and that really uh, helped the uh, the bond market. But let's take a look at some numbers and how it kind of impacted the bond market, which is why we're up today. All right, so initial initial jobless claims. Now that measures individuals' filings for unemployment benefits for the first time. That showed there were 212,000 claims last week. That represented a decrease of 2,000 from the previous report. And housing starts, well, it rose 0.9% in July to 1.168 million annualized pace, which now that was much lower than the 8% gain expected. Housing permits, though, this was a good forward-looking indicator because of, of future starts. It rose by 1.5% in July, and that was actually slightly higher than, uh, than expectations. So if we come back and we look at the bond market here, you're looking at the Fannie Mae uh, 30 year. This is the bond market, and this is this is how things get represented with, with as as bond prices go up, interest rates go down. As bond prices go down, interest rates go up, right? And so we're sitting right here today. We closed at 101.8. Okay, that's up to basis points. So that's right here. Now, if we look at these numbers, okay, I'm going to come in here and put these uh, these 25 day, which you'll see this represents the bottom line here, 25 day moving average. Okay, and then if we come over here to the 100-day moving average, you can see we're really in a sideways uh, trading range. Again, we were there back on August 10th. Uh, we dipped down a little bit, so if you're following me on Instagram, you saw I posted a story back here on the 13th and 14th, really advising if you had short windows of uh, uh, closings, you might want to go ahead and pull the lock on that. Um, and then we had some really good positive numbers coming out of it from the bond market, which has now put us back into a, um, a sideways, range, sideways trading range. The thing that we have uh, some concerns of is that that 100-day moving average is really proven to be a pretty good ceiling of resistance. And it's gonna take a lot of movement to get bonds up above that and trading uh, back up here where we've, where we've seen it traded back in like July of, uh, of 2018. It didn't stay there very long as you can see it came back down as well so what we really have to watch is is there going to be enough market related news coming up that could uh, impact the uh, the bond market to where we, we pick up an extra eighth or a quarter point so right now when i look at clients and i make it, um, people you know giving them advice as to what they should do should they lock or should they float i'm really looking at the timing of their uh, their closing so nine to ten days versus 45 days and, and really helping them make decisions as to whether we're in a sideways trading range or we're falling below the ceiling or, or the above the ceiling of resistance or the floor of, um, of support. So bottom line right now, guys, I, I am carefully floating. Okay, I still feel like we'll stay in that sideways trading range for a little while until we get some news that, um, that proves different. I'll, I'll advise you guys and if it's any time next week, uh, you should see it on my Instagram story. Look, I've been a mortgage advisor for over 20 years, been blessed to provide financing to over 25,000 families. I watch the markets daily to make sure that I can deliver you the right home loan, 
uh, at the right price. Um, give me a call. I'd love to be able to help you with your home loan. With Bob Mortgage, your dream loan is already within your reach.